Make it official. Ah, oh, it's on now. How are we? Good. Good. I have a story to share. I have a story to share. Many of you know the Circus Freaks have been involved with the Festival of Independent Theaters doing a show called Playthings at the Bathhouse Cultural Center. Last year we did, uh, sorry, last weekend we did shows three and four of our six show run. Amazing experience, life-changing experience. I had something happen to me I wanted to talk about. It seemed important to all the players in the room. Uh, I say that because, of course, those of you who have been here before know there are no audience members in this room. This is all a bunch of actors playing the part. Who's new here, just so I know? Just, you, if you raise your hand, I can't, you're going to have to shout. One, come on, shout! Okay, hang on, hang on. Actors, if you would please show them what a shout sounds like. Like, so again, shout if you're new. Okay, hang on, people are shy. Everybody close your eyes. Now shout if you're new. See, I told you it'd be louder. You peaked? I'm on stage in front of all my friends. My whole life is peaking right now. <laughs> From here it's just, <laughs> oh, I don't know, I don't. So, we're doing the show. And one of the things that has happened is the show is actually unlike this. This is, you know, live variety. There's no, there's no illusion that we're, we're in a theater, we're on a stage, you guys are there, I'm here, we're doing a thing. When you're doing, you know, narrative theater, black box theater, you can create a whole new world. You can create a place that doesn't exist and, and be completely invested in that space. I'm not saying either one is more or less valid, just it's very different. And we had created something that was, honestly, it had some depth to it. And we thought the worst thing we could do at the end of that was to come out and go, oh, just kidding, thank you, thank you for coming. We thought that would be terrible. So we decided to not do it and we trotted out something that was actually from the start of the Circus Freaks history. One of the little rules you may not know about us is that when we're in character, we're on. If you meet us in character, we are that character. We're not us to the confusion of all of our friends. Really, some, they don't know what to do with this. But most of our friends have figured this out and they buy in and play along. And people like this, they get this extra bit of experience. So we decide that our characters will meet the audience in the lobby, say hello, pose for pictures, everybody's happy, and we don't have to break the reality too harshly in the theater. So we're doing this and I have a lot of backstage tech to do after the show's over, I'm helping out. And so I've changed back into normal people clothes and I walk out there and of course we have living dolls and toy makers and all these people running around and I'm sort of invisible in the corner if you can imagine me being invisible but I'm over in the corner and it's a little disconnected mostly I figured out they didn't recognize who I was so the cast said to me well why don't you stay in costume and I, and I got honest I said the character I'm playing is the melancholy sot of the cast it's not happy it's tragic and I didn't want to go out there and go yay theater everything sucks I just didn't want to do that. It just didn't feel right. And I got a piece of advice from, and I, I got to shout out Marie Martin for this, who plays Jack in the show. Marie said to me, why don't you just go out there and let yourself be affected by the people there? And I, I realized I heard my own direction coming back to me. I, I had directed the show, and a piece of advice other than pacing I give is it's like, how does this affect you? Does it, it let another performer, let a situation affect you? It's the question I'm always asking. I now was being asked to me, and so I took a deep breath, I said, you're right, that's hard for me. Now it is for you, but for me it's tragedy. And I took Alan, who plays Dinkelmeyer's hand, and I took his hand, and like an idiot child, we walked out into the lobby, kicked the doors open, and I stood around, and I looked lost, a little scared, and someone in the back just started waving like crazy, because we were the first people out there, it was a really big deal. And I looked at him, and he was like, you may go, and I was like, yes! and I dove into this person's lap. <laughs> and then it wasn't awkward anymore. Never awkward. Oh, yeah. Is that how that works? No, it's not at all how it worked. But what, what the point of it was, I had this lovely moment where instead of deciding how I was going to feel, I went out there and somebody waved, and so I got excited about that, and it was a really good day. I was emotionally in the moment. And I knew I had to bring this back here for the simple reason that there's no illusion here. You guys are there, we're here. People are gonna get on this stage and give you everything they have. I ask one thing of you tonight. Give yourselves permission to be affected. Feel what happens. If it's funny, laugh, it's okay. No one's gonna think you're too cool or not cool enough. 
If it's sad, feel it. If it's weird, well, it's Monday. What the hell did you expect? <laughs> but most of all, this is a place where you're safe to be affected. You're surrounded by your friends. We call it the open stage. Welcome. <laughs>